Hi, Gemini. It's Abby. Welcome to your reading with me today. Uh, this, if you haven't caught on from the flashy money deck, uh, this is going to be a money, wealth, career, finance reading, okay? Um, so this is an Oracle deck I got off Etsy. If you're curious, just go on Etsy, search money, oracles, career oracle, finance oracle. Um, this creator has a lot of different ones that you can choose from and a lot of other themed ones as well. They make a lot of really interesting decks. Um, so I'm basically going to be um, pulling a Celtic cross with this, looking at what the situation might be like for you. And I'm going to clarify with the tarot, okay? So I want to see like what's the central energy the most sort of important focus with the Gemini Collective when it comes to money, finance, and wealth. What's up with them? Teacher. Okay, so it says that you have the ability to motivate others to strive to uncover their true potential. Okay, it says consider careers in teaching, coaching, mentorship, or being a motivational speaker. And it says you've learned much about money, so this is now the time to put it into practice. So Gemini, you may have recently, you could be in the teaching profession, you could have realized that you're actually really good um, at guiding people or telling people how to do things. Um, and maybe you've also been um, learning a lot along the way and feeling like, okay, is it the time to jump? And it feels like it's telling you, yeah, there's some things that you should put into practice right now. Um, what is Gemini, what are they, what's crossing them or like, what is? Ah, okay. We have explorer energy. So it's saying, keep trying. <laughs> there are no mistakes, just opportunities, learn and grow. You may be called to explore careers that match your, fear, your fearlessness and curiosity. And you may need to go wandering and trust the unknown. That's where the magic lies. So this makes me feel like some of you might have wanderlust. Um, even though you may have found something that really sort of vibes with you, you may still have this desire to do th things outside of yourself that could be making it difficult to sort of um, maybe put some things into practice. It could be that you feel like the grass is always greener. Um, that can manifest in ways where we are, uh, you know, we even though we have a good thing going or even though there are signs to us that are, seem kind of simple about what we could be doing or how we could be doing things, will still be like, ah, but isn't there more? And I feel like Gemini being so intelligent uh, and being such a, you know, huge communicative skills, really, really smart air energy, mutable air energy, right? Um, I'm a Pisces, so with a lot of Sagittarius, so a lot of mutable fire and water. And there is this kind of tendency to be like, but what else, right? But what else? Um, I feel like there's a lot of that sort of energy here. Let's see. What should you be focusing on? Ooh, okay, mechanic. So it says, mend what needs mending. It might be broken, but all is not lost. Consider a career as a mechanic in automotive aerospace or repair technician. You have the ability to easily fix your finances, but a sacrifice might be needed. Okay. So for some of you, there could be an issue as far as your money or your career, the way that you're looking at it, right? It could be that there's a thing that you're like, well, that's broken. So I, I don't know. There has to be something else is how this is kind of looking to me. What this is telling you is like there's stuff that you need to mend. OK, so you might have to shift your focus and do that. So for some of you, that could mean asking for a raise, looking for a different job. Um, it could mean that you want to work with your hands. You want to do something different. Yeah, it's like, but there could be a sacrifice that's needed here. Um, this wandering kind of energy might be getting in the way of maybe you focusing or uh, maybe taking on some side work for a period of time or starting whatever. There could be, I feel like for some of you, if it's entrepreneurship or something that you want to build, um, you could be kind of sticking, you know, in sort of the norm. And you could be possibly able to make some money on the side and use that money towards sort of uh, stabilizing your money situation if there is some uncertainty there or some issues. And then that will help, help you to not only work on the thing that you want, but also improve your position, right? Um, it could be that you, for some of you, if you do have a side gig going, or you do have a dream, an entrepreneurship dream, um, but you need more funds, you need more investments, um, you might need to take up some side money, uh, some side hustle stuff for a period of time to sort of get some money in your coffers to sort of get things going here. But it says that you have the easy, it's easily fixed, whatever it is that you need to focus on. 
It's just that you might have to give up maybe some free time, maybe time with friends, um, maybe time with your partner, that kind of thing for a period of time while you're doing it, some kind of sacrifice. Your strength is we have promoter energy. Hell yeah, I love it. It says if there's a new idea or project manifesting, know that it has great potential for success. Careers in the nightlife industry, events, or restaurant industry could be right for you. Use the law of attraction for money and be the energy that you want to attract. I love it. So your strength is very much about getting people excited, getting people together, um, manifesting new projects and new ideas, being maybe an idea person for others. Maybe there's something that you're very good at self-promotion. Maybe that's something that you can teach other people how to do. And you can turn that into sort of an advising business or um, telling people how to create if you have created something that's like a side gig or something for yourself teaching other people how to do what you did, right? Um, that could be a huge deal for some of you. I love it. Use the law of attraction for money. Be the energy that you want to attract. So your strength is very much going to be sort of shifting that focus. I feel like once you have the focus, Gemini, you guys are so unstoppable. It's really beautiful energy. Okay, so my deck just is upside down. Uh, this is recognition. So you're moving away or in the past... It says money is looking good and solid. Whatever you're working on now will win you the respect of others. You could earn a leadership position or get the recognition that you deserve. This feels like the in the past, it could have been that this was a really huge focus of yours. Um, yeah. This is interesting. It feels like almost like Gemini, I'm getting all this stuff about maybe career switches or that you were in certain things, maybe you were in certain jobs, and there's a big like personal um, value to the Geminis that this reading is for on being recognized for your work. Mm-hmm. That could possibly, for some reason I'm feeling like that could be part of what maybe you are moving away from in a way it's like you have a lot i feel like you've done a lot of really good solid work and you have been um people have noticed it whether you know it or not how good you are at some things and <laughs> coming up with ideas um and maybe that you have leadership potential but it, it feels like there's a shift in this give me this just a second what is this oh you're at the bottom of the deck lover's energy Tell me about this recognition. Four of Wands. Really celebrated. That's happy. Something second coming. Okay. So this feels like really hard work, being a little overwhelmed. But it feels like there's possibly some second coming energy, especially with things like um, something that you used to do in the past that you really love. And it feels like you're trying to take those things with you. For some of you, it's almost like um, be mindful. It feels like you might be moving away from this energy already. But you may have realized that you were trying to recreate a certain feeling or a certain um, event or status recognition. Because Four of Wands is very much when we are crossing a finish line. It can be like marriage, a party, a celebration, a graduation, all of that. Um, you could be realizing that it was actually kind of burdening you trying to recreate what you had in the past in the exact same way um, and to be recognized in the exact same way that maybe there's something new um, like experiencing things in the moment finding new ways to sort of experience um, recognition and and you feeling good about it is different I feel like it's changing there um, so there just might be some old some old stuff that I think you're kind of working through and, and moving away from a little bit. What is coming towards Gemini that they need to know about in money, career, and finance? Boom. The office. Okay, so we got office energy. It says thinking of the greater good. Think of the greater good than oneself to achieve better outcomes, considering careers in administrative or management roles. It says manage your time better and or delegate tasks to be more productive. So for some of you, it could be that you're getting into office work. Um, something, a job could come along that is in administration or in management. There is some stuff here that talks about 
where was it? It was talking about here. Um, recognition, you could earn a leadership position or get the recognition you deserve. And then saying coming near you is um, possibly management roles. Okay, so for some of you, it could be that there's an opportunity presents itself at your workspace or you find an ad, whatever it is. Um, you could also find moving into the future that you figure out better ways of dealing with your time and your energy than what you've been doing already and that that helps you helps you move forward you could also have sort of an altruistic sort of uh vibe to you i don't know if that's charity work or you want to help other people but i'm getting focused of this think of the greater good than oneself to achieve better outcomes um this feels like the ends like what am I doing it feels like there needs to be purpose in your work so I feel like that is something that you were very much looking for and it, since it's saying it's coming towards you um I feel like there will be some opportunity there opportunity there ace of pentacles yeah so for a lot of you this can be my card of new jobs um new opportunities seeds that can be planted what about this ace page of pentacle page of swords possibly learning something new that sets you up Ooh, really sets you up. For some of you, you could be learning something or you could have um, a workplace opportunity for um, education, I'm wanting to say, that could end up being very, very lucrative for you. That's gorgeous. I love it. Okay, let's keep going. So what's your sort of suggested approach? Gemini. Okay, so on surface it says animals. It says you're being asked to follow your instinct at this time when making business decisions. Any career working with animals, rescue associations, or the veterinary field can be with you. And also says to connect your power animal to improve your finances. Okay. Okay, so follow your instincts is the big thing. <laughs> Okay, give me some more information about this. I want a little bit more. You're going to have to tune into your intuition. Yeah, there's some things possibly online or in learning that might be important. Gemini, this is air sign energy, so it could, you know, one of the air signs, or this could just simply be you starting out in something new. Um, page of Wands, the things that excite you. Page of Wands follows their instincts. They follow the stuff that makes them feel excited so this feels almost like there could be two sides of you kind of warring it out here. One that's more like logical and booky and the other one that's like sparky and um, and uh, just really excited about things. So it feels like it's telling you, you know, yes, your your incredible mind is very, very valuable here. But there's also something in your in your gut that's important, Gemini. So listen to it, please. Libra energy justice and the chariot. OK, so the balancing in your perspectives, um, doing things as fair, balanced, and just as you possibly can is going to be really important to you reaching your goals. Um, chariot energy, making really um, distinct decisions and going forward. Maybe Libra, maybe Cancer energy. Could be, could not. That's, you know, whatever. Might be important or might not, but I like it. Okay, so what does the universe know that Gemini doesn't know yet. That Gemini needs to know for their greatest good and highest outcome in money. Comfort. Okay. So it says, though you're not exactly rich, you will be living comfortably. You're entering the most comfortable period of life and your finances are in a state of balance. This feels like to me... Um, it might be letting you know, for one, that you are entering, the, you're going to be going into a very comfortable part of your life, even though it might not be there yet. And it might be a very nice resting place almost, where it's like you're not the richest person, but you're comfortable, you're cool with it. You don't need all the fancy stuff and trappings maybe. Um, but things being in a nice state of balance. And so it feels like that step, some of you, um, you may need to know that that step will come first before anything else. Um, the other thing that I wanted to tell you, oh no, I started to lose it. Okay, let me, <laughs> let me clarify like that. Yeah, it's, it's new. It's a new way of thinking of things. Mm-hmm, okay. 
so there's possibly you have ace of swords seven of cups in the tower so it feels like you might not really kind of see things coming there's some time of wishful thinking and i feel like this ace of swords is connected to this tower you could have a new idea or epiphany that comes along from after a period of time like i feel like you could be confused about what to do then in the next step here gemini from what's kind of coming here if this is saying you might not know about this yet um Whatever new ideas you might be having, I mean, it's saying there's a new idea or project manifesting. It has great potential for success. So that could come kind of out of the way and make you feel like you're like, what the heck was even that? Um, it also could be that the, your ideas about money and your relationship to money need sort of a revamp because um, maybe you have, you know, sometimes we get into a lot of wishful thinking. Sometimes we feel like there's too many choices. Um, this is a lot of clarity with this Ace of Swords energy um, in the tower. So it feels like you could receive some kind of clarity that is like making you go, what's really important? Um, and then, you know, rebuilding, rebuilding things. Let's in sort of like the highest hopes and the fears. Ooh, okay. This says work hard in silence. So Gemini, you might be really scared of sharing your ideas with people. Maybe you have experienced with recognition in the past. Um, maybe other people have stolen your ideas. Maybe you have um, get, shared your ideas and then they've been ignored. And then you're in a you're in an office meeting a couple weeks later and someone goes, oh, hey, so we've decided to do this thing. We've implemented this new thing. And you're like, oh, that's the thing I was talking about, and you acted like I was crazy. When <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, so it feels like you might be trying really hard. Like, feel like you can't tell anybody about it for some reason. You might have some jealous people at your work, or um, people around you who don't understand exactly what you're doing, or they don't get the like. Maybe you have a you work in the gig economy or something like that. I've mentioned the office a lot because you've we've had the office stuff come up. But maybe you work in something like the gig economy and, the, you know, you're listening to people who are long-term office workers and they don't understand any other kind of life and they're just, like, you know, criticizing the, the choices or the things you're trying to build for yourself because they don't get it. It's, like, just frustrated energy. Um, mm, okay. <laughs> this feels like your highest hopes are beautiful. The Ace of Wands. Oh, my God. Okay, so this is like the sun, ace of wands, work hard in silence. I freaking love this. So maybe some Leo energy, some fire energy here. This inspiration or a new idea that you might be having that feels like it could unlock everything and make you incredibly happy. Oh, wow, Gemini, so cute. Okay, so let's see like what's to come what you might encounter that will show you you're on the right path. That's how I kind of look at this last card. I'm going to use tarot as well afterwards for this. Growth. Okay. I love it. It said, expect good news and money matters, a raise or a new job offer. Money will soon start flowing into your business. Promises, promising opportunities are awaiting. That's gorgeous. I love it. This is a really good money reading. So it feels like you can expect for things to start to take off, especially with new ideas, that Ace of Wands, and you've had the Ace of Swords. Those can be new ideas and new inspiration and new energy to kind of get things going here. Oh my goodness, tell me about this. I feel like for some of you, okay, there's possibly yeah I, I feel like there there might be something that has to do about you maybe relocating to a new area um that might actually be part of what helps to bring about some of this growth it could be going back home or going to a place that you have worked in previously um and it could be that you feel like you're more following your calling i feel like with this nine of swords and eight of swords energy these are cards that are all about sort of, you know, too many thinking, <laughs> too many thinky thinks, okay? <laughs> so um, sometimes when we're having realizations, um, we get anxious about that kind of stuff. For some of you, it could even be that as you are growing things and as you start to experience growth, you could get nervous. You could get cold feet about it. You could start thinking of all the ways in which you're limited. Um, 
and get really sort of anxious if you can keep it going. Um, maybe because you have you value recognition, it could be like, well, I don't want others to see me fail. What if it goes? I know it's going really good right now, but what if, right? We're human beings. People like people do all kinds of stuff. Um, you know, fear of failure and fear of success a lot of the time go hand in hand. So that could be part of it. Um, if it doesn't apply to you, let it go. No big deal. But it's just something a lot of people out there deal with. I feel very much like there's like a calling that you just can't ignore here. You're going to have to make a judgment call on the move itself. But it feels like with the chariot here, um, it's almost like you realize that you might be stuck in a certain place or like you can't. Knight of Swords, yeah, that's quick, swift movement. So it feels like you might realize that where you're at um, could physically need to change. For others, that could also manifest in ways with all these swords. Uh, this feels like maybe you have to take things online or you have to network out farther, um, things like that, okay? But it's like a total turnaround. I feel like it's, it's almost like you might realize that you've been sort of trapping yourself in your own sort of doubts um learning to believe in yourself and it's like once you get that that feeling when something kind of shows its its hand to you uh, gemini it's like you just take off running you take off running and you don't want to ever look back i'm going to give you a couple timing cards just to see if there's anything here that might be um need to be considered for you that's a lot Okay, I'll go through these quickly. Okay. <laughs> okay, so we had Eight of Swords and one of your first cards. Stop obsessing. Stop it. It's not helping. Um, yeah, it feels like that chariot energy is very much choice, focus, will, strength, go, right? Um, we also have special date. So there could be that there is a date that is very significant to you. Um, that you might have something happen on. Um, it could be that there's a date of personal importance where you have some kind of sign or synchronicity, see a bunch of numbers, someone out of the blue talks to you, um, something like that. We also have better late than never. Very true. Um, wasting your time. This feels like more of a fear. I feel like for some of you, there could also be something that you are doing that you know very well is maybe not in you know, maybe expending your energy in the wrong place so this card may be showing you up like showing up to be like you know maybe if you're in a dead-end job that you know is a dead-end job and you've been holding yourself back for whatever reason um you might know d deep down you're kind of wasting your time or you're putting off having to make the decision take the leap um, go on a job interview, maybe it's been a while, whatever it is. Um, this feels more like fear, and then for some also a bit of encouragement, like, hey, stop obsessing. Um, also, obsessing is wasting your time, right? Um, if you're obsessing also about the speed of things, that could be another thing with this better late than never. Um, yeah. What do we have here? Yeah, stand still. Similar energy going to take a while sometimes things when we're moving on it oh okay spring so this feels like something here for some gemini out there and it might not be for all of you this could be even just for one of you out there okay so disregard it if it doesn't make sense um but it feels like things may have very much sort of stopped <laughs> Um, the things that you are trying to manifest, it can, it might take a little while. I did have that message here about comfort where it's saying, not, you, though you're not exactly rich, you're living comfortably and entering a comfortable period of your life where things will be stable and in a state of balance. Um, I feel like this was trying to say that this part will happen first before possibly like a big boom, but the boom is in the future. If you're working towards this part first, we also have spring. Um, so springtime could be important. Um, so it could be like this particular spring when this is going up. It should, I think it's around spring. When does that start? June 20th, something like that. Um, but whenever the spring time is for you, that time may be very significant. Uh, it could be that whatever was happening last spring, there could be something in there. Um, 
about that as well, okay? This is what I got for you. Oh, no, wait. I want to give you one more. I always want to give you more. <laughs> I always want to give you guys more. I'm going to ask for money. This, These oracles have prosperity messages. So let me see here. What does Gemini need to see or hear for their greatest good, their highest outcome in relation to work, career, finances, money, for their most abundant life, for the life that they want to lead in the 3D what do they need here? What do they need to see or hear? Message in a bottle. Okay, number 15. 15 may be important to you, or six. It reduces to a six, which is, that's the lover's card, and that's your card, Gemini. I'll hold it up so you can see it quickly. Okay. So it says, communication is sign yeah ooh. um a spontaneous oracle delivered innocently pointing the way to your highest good so it says you're on target with your purpose and your passion you're coming into alignment with your destiny and spirit wants you to know that you're on the right track expect to call a new opportunity or a message from an old friend or business contact that will lead you closer to your dreams and your greatest desires spirit has been listening to you okay this is what i got for you um I hope that you enjoyed it, Gemini. Even if all of the details were not for you, I hope there was something in here that get, helped you or gave you some insight um, into your money situation or your relationship with money at this point. Don't forget to watch your sun, your moon, your rising. I would say also probably um, your north node. Um, yeah, I like to watch my north node, which is Capricorn, um, just because it's sort of like centered around work. Um, so lots of love to you guys and I will see you on the next one. Bye now.